There's another question I want to ask you is like, cause I know, um, with your situation, my situation, how do your parents feel about it? Uh, about you still like playing games now? They finally come around to it. <laughs> like it's my, probably my dad, not so much stuff like that, but my mom is like, I've shown her stuff like, uh, like I'll show her like, like my favorite, like podcaster or like YouTuber and be like, Oh, it's like, what does he do? I'm like, Oh, he just, he talks about games in this way. They review them. They do a stream like this where it's live and, it's like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I was like, and they also do like, they'll have streams for donations for like a charity and this and that and stuff like that. She's like, really? I was like, yeah. And they'll raise this much money because this much people are watching them and stuff like that. And that's what they do every day. And she's like, oh my God, that's amazing and stuff like that. And so she's come around to it and be much better. And my dad's kind of been like, oh, okay, whatever. He's like, you play games, whatever. It's, it's not the idea of like, oh, it's going to ruin your life. <laughs> like they would used to have that aspect. Now they're just like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you, you can make a career out of this or you could do something out of this or yeah you're not just wasting your time yeah i think with my parents i, f I think they just finally give up because really for a long time like my parents were the stop gate right like if i wanted yeah. a new console well, mama mama please but i think it was like until i think it started going downhill when like i just got my own job like i i got, I got my first job at car mike and i was like i'm getting this job because i want the wii the ps3 and the xbox that's the goal for this job. Get all three consoles. I need to get $1,500. We're doing this. And I got it. And then I realized, but money's nice too. And I just kept going. And so, <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, there you go. The, the lifestyle is pretty much funded at that point. It's all like, yeah. before it was all like, you don't need to have all this stuff. You don't need that game. You don't need all this. We're just going to stop buying you all that stuff. And it's like, now it's like, well, now I'm paying for it. Wait, 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 what you going to do? But now I'm like, now I'm like, okay, well, I actually have a career now and I'm actually doing big things. So now it makes more sense that I'm more into this stuff like that. Like maybe they, they thought it probably would have died out a little bit more, which I, I feel like it kind of did. Like obviously like back then I'd be playing games for 12 hours a day. <laughs> it's like, oh, I woke up, play games, go back to sleep. You know, I'm not doing that <laughs> yeah. today, right? Like there's, there's no way. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way I could tell Laura, hey, we're we're not gonna see each other today because I I, I kind of really want to bake in some time. That that's that's not gonna fly. But <laughs> it's it's so like, it is vastly different. But like I think my parents, they treat it like oh I don't understand it, but I don't have to understand it kind of thing. I think that's where they're kind of at gotcha. right now. I think they're just kind of proud of everything else that that I've done in my life, and so this is kind of like the thing that I like. This is what I put my money into. This is kind of what makes me happy. So. At this point, I'm 34. They they can't tell me anything anyway. So like, why 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 you, fight? You live it? In a completely different city too. So it's just like <laughs> that too. They ain't gonna be coming over and be like, oh, we're gonna pop this out. Like actually, this is my house. So don't touch anything in here. <laughs> so so don't make me call cops on you. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, I'm never gonna do any of that. But it's just the fact of that. It's just all like now I have my actual own sanctuary. And it's all like yeah. So it it. It's interesting because, you know, I think the evolution of games, or parents accepting games, has also something that's kind of changed over, like, I don't want to say the last, like, 15 years, I'll say. I think 10 years is too short, but, like, a little over 15 years now that, you know, thanks to YouTube and kind of giving platforms to people and kind of getting games to be out there and stuff, like, it's a lot more acceptable because now people are seeing the results of can it be a job can you get something out of it because before it's all like oh i'm just gonna play games so i became a game developer and i'll make games and i'll do all this stuff you just wait yeah. to see and it's like well you can't do that if you're just playing games you gotta go you know that kind of stigma is gone now and now it's all like oh i can play games until people pay me to keep playing games like that's yeah. actually a legit thing and you're like this 16 year old is making a hundred dollars a week now yeah. a thousand what I mean, they're literally, literally just paying you to play. Yeah, I mean, once you get good enough, then people want to see you do dope stuff. And it's like, I mean, shit, I can't say anything. You're actually, <laughs> you know, you're actually kind of looking at it. So might as well, right? <laughs> have Have you tried explaining, or have you had a conversation with your parents about like trying to explain esports to them? I don't have to try to have a conversation to explain esports to anybody. Like, I, I, I'm not, it's like, that's a whole different thing. Like, and it's, it's a show and tell. You have to just show people because people don't think that esports could ever be the NFL. Even other gamers 
don't think that you can yeah. have the NFL Super Bowl next to like League of Legends World Cup. Like they don't think that these these two things can't be in the same world. They're not the same thing. These are real athletes over here. A gamer's not an athlete. They're not. We're not going to cross that river. Like they're, they're like they they we're going to always have them separate. And so like, I really don't bother to have that argument. Because it's like, yes, it is. Whatever you think, it's like as long as you pay the other people the same, like it doesn't matter. A sport is basically this organization of like-minded people doing a thing, and then there is a professional aspect to it. That's kind of how I see it. And it's like, yeah, it's like I I don't agree with all sports athletes getting paid the ridiculous, stupid money that they get. But For real? I mean, that's. You know, I also understand that these are people who are doing something for five, ten years, however long that they need to do it. So, yeah, they're getting money compensated for the fact that they might not do anything after the career is over. And I guess being older, I understand that a little bit more about, like, you know, you got these rookies that get, like, these millions of dollars, but they also have to pay for everything else. They got to pay to keep their body in, in this kind of peak condition and stuff. Yeah. But I'm also old enough to say, well, why are non esports athletes not considered the same? Especially because they have to do the same. They have to practice. They have to put in the work. They have to put in everything else. And so, like I said, like I, I could talk to you about it and have a conversation. I really don't want to get into it, like probably like other conversations, like, like with my parents. Like that's definitely like that. That's a few rivers too far for them to really go. They, if they ask for it, I mean, I'll probably talk about it, but I know they won't. So there's no point in talking <laughs> this kind of thing. Yeah, that's how I've explained it to, like I said, my mom's the one who's more understanding. Mm -hmm. And so like I, when like Damon would play Fortnite and stuff like that, she's like, what is this game? And you explain it to her and she's like, so you just play it in that and it's free. I was like, yeah. And like, but there's also like this competitive side to it and I like, explained it to her and I showed like a couple of YouTube videos and she's like, oh my God, it's like a real sport. And I was like, yeah, like they treat it exactly a real sport because you're like these people, even though a lot of them are kids most of the time or teenagers, like they're putting in the work. I was like, I, I started explaining to her like the Overwatch League, mm -hmm. like they have facilities where these players go in like the cities that they're in, like Orlando, Dallas, um, uh, Los Angeles, stuff like that. And like they go there and that's all they do. They practice, they do this, just like a NFL, NFL player has to go to the training camp, do that stuff. And then even on their off season, they still have to practice and play and stuff like that. And then they get paid for it. And like explaining it that way to her, along with like showing the video, she's like, oh, I get it. Like, I get it. Like, oh, cool. And so since I had that conversation, I was wondering how it would have gone or if they had ever asked you.